and welcome to Dallas, and thank you thank for coming. You. Thank you. And uh, you told me that it was your first time in Texas. It was my first time in Texas, and I'm not, I'm not going to know Texas really because I'm, I'm doing these interviews and I'm in the, in the hotel, but I wish to come back and know it because they told me so much things about Dallas and Texas, and I want to know. You told me also that your brother studied is he here now or he No, here? he finished the university. He has done the university in Dallas and he studied for a film director and he's now in LA doing a, another studies about that. Uh, but he, he stayed here like five years. So did he tell you much about Dallas? Yes, he loved Dallas. He loved it. Yeah. He, w he wished to come back and stay here because he, he loved it. Are you from a family of actors and filmmakers? No, really, no, no. My father is an economist and uh, nothing to be with this. I was the first to, to like start in this business. I, when I was 13, I started acting in, in television. And then my other brother, uh, he, start, he's, he was studying for being a lawyer. And then he quit, and he started studying for producer, and he's a TV producer in Argentina. And, but no, nothing to be with my parents. <laughs> they get surprised when I was like, I want to be an actress. And my mother, what? Why? <laughs> he couldn't understand. <laughs> but, but they're OK with it now. Yeah, they support me since I made the decision. Yeah, they are, they are, they, they are very supportive with me. And you are born in Buenos Aires? In Buenos Aires. I live in Buenos Aires. Yes. Yeah. Well, the film, Valentine, <coughs> excuse me, the film Valentine, uh, such a charming, wonderful film. Yeah, it's I, lovely. I, I, Hold on just a second. Okay. Oh, what is that? I'll start with that. Um, okay. Um, so you are born in Buenos Aires? Yeah, in yes. Buenos Aires. I live in Buenos Aires. The movie was shot in Buenos Aires, right? Yeah. It is such a delightful movie. It's lovely. Yeah. And I know that uh, it is somewhat autobiographical of the director. Yeah. Uh, one year in his life as a child. Mm -hmm. okay. The little boy who plays uh, Valentin. Rodrigo. He, um, he, they got him in a casting call. Yes. Yes, in a casting club, and he did a great job. He's fantastic. He's a, he's a, a natural actor, you know, because he didn't have done anything before. And um, he's great. He's great. And he just took to the technical part of it, movie making, very well? Yes. He, uh, when I first read the script, I thought, well, it's a seven-year-old boy. He has all the movie in, in, in to do because he's the narrator of the movie and he is the movie. And I thought, he's going to get nervous, he's going to forget forget the lines. And when I met Rodrigo, it was nothing to be with that. You know, he was enjoying what he was doing. You 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 watch you watch him and you say, Wow, he's having fun. You know? He was like fu having fun and enjoying and, and he was so natural and, and it was very good for us. What was excellent because it was easy to go with him, easy to act with him. It was great. We enjoyed it with him, and he's he's great. In real life, does he have that visual problem? Yes, he has. Yeah. But the director, as a child, did he have? That ah, no, no, he, no, no, no. Well, it's an autobiographical film, but it has a lot of fiction too. You know, it's like messed up. And no, the director, he has a good view. <laughs> but little Rodrigo uh, is not handicapped at all, is he, with his visual problems? No, no, not at all. No, he, has, he wears glasses, that, that's it. And he is a little cross-eyed. Yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah. Your part of it is that little Rodrigo wants uh, so much to have a family. His mother is not present and he's in the custody of his father, lives with his grandmother, and uh, he wants you and his daddy to get together. Yeah, he desperately wants a mother, you know. He, in all the movies, he's like, I want a mother. Please marry someone. I want a mother or, or my mother to come back. 
that's the sadness par part of the story. But when he met Leticia, he's like, I want you to be my mother. Because Leticia is the only one who really cares about this boy, who, who really listened this this little boy. And, and he's like, you know, like he, he fall in love with Leticia, kind of. And he's, he's speak about his life and his father with the innocence of a boy, of a seven-year-old boy. And the teacher start to think, start thinking that, uh, start realizing that the father is not what she thinks, and and but start falling in love with this little boy. So it's it's a very um, sad part of the movie because he he really wants he, her to be his mother, and well, it, they, they, but they like each other and that's nice. Tell me about the first time you met Rodrigo. Well, it was in a rehearsal, and um, the director said, well, this is Rodrigo, and he was with his little sister, and they were, like, jumping and dancing, and I thought, wow. <laughs> He's so he, he's so happy, you know. He's like a, he's like a child, and he was playing. He was really playing, and I thought this is going to work. This is going to work, and we start playing, and we start to like fool each other, and uh, it was very easy to go with him. He he's so nice. Did he have a special affection for you by the time the movie was completed? Yes, actually, we we had finished two months ago another film with uh, with Alejandro, and we did another film together with Rodrigo, and it's very nice. And we 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 talk to each other by phone. And uh, in Valentine's Day, we we were shooting in Val uh, Valentin, and on Valentine's Day, he he bring me a flower. You know, he's so nice. So the other film uh, preceded. Valentine. Yeah. Or we haven't seen the other film yet. No, we haven't seen. We we, we just finished the other ah. film. It, it's in ed, ed, editing and. So and you went stuff. from Valentine to the next film. Yeah. And the little boy is in it as well. Yeah. Rodrigo is in it as well. For the same director. For the same director. Well, yeah. that means then that you <coughs> will have made three films. Three films with yeah. I love working with Alejandro Gristi. He's a great director. He's great. He's really great. Are, are you kind of, uh, you all kind of dating? No. No. No, no, no. No, it's just a professional relationship? Yeah. yeah. Uh, are you married? I didn't, have, I didn't know. No, no, no. I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> I'm by myself. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, plenty of dates, I'm sure. Yeah. Would yeah. you like to marry an actor? An actor? I prefer not. <laughs> But um, I just want to fall in love. It's the best part of the life for me. So it's the most important thing to do. So I don't care if it, he's an actor or a director or, a, or whatever, you know. It, it, I think it's very important, love for life. Do you envision someday that you will make an American film? I wish so. Yes, I would like to, sure, yeah. This, I think that this is a great opportunity for us, for our country, to show our f cinema. And it's a great opportunity for me to show my work in this film, because it's not, we, we are not used to, to, to show our, our movies in the States, and it's a great opportunity for, for us. I'm very proud of it. Okay, uh, hang on just a minute. Yeah. Your name is Giulietta Cardinale. Giulietta Cardinale. <laughs> uh, do you know about the actress Claudia Cardinale? Of course. Car it's Claudia Cardinale and I'm Giulietta Cardinale. That's, that's the difference. So you are in no way related? No, I wish so. I love her. But She's aren't great. But spelled the same? No, yeah, it, my, my, my surname is Car Cardinali, with an a, a, I in the end, uh -huh. and, and Claudia is Claudia Cardinale, with an E at the end. 
Ah. That's the difference. But everyone, everyone told me you are a cardinale because they they used to listen Claudia Cardinale and they they think that I'm I don't know <laughs> related to her. But no, I'm not. Well, it's it's not an, a name that we hear every day. No, I know, I know. <laughs> Well, Julieta, thank you again for coming to Dallas and no. giving, uh, giving us this opportunity to get acquainted with you. And I hope that we'll have many more meetings in the future. Okay, thank you very much. Very nice to meet you. She was Italian, like Spanish. I was like thinking that. It's it's kind of a com to my ear. Yeah. Uh, it's a combination of European and Spanish. Um, and when I say European, I don't really know if I'm, it, it's not French. Um, I don't know, maybe, and not really German, maybe Italian, maybe no. Italian Spanish, but mm. Europe, European sounding, yeah. Okay, um, here we go. Tell me about the very first time you met Rodrigo, the little boy. Well, he was with his sister, and and the director introduced me. The little boy is portraying the director at that age. Now, did the director have a visual problem too? No, no, he does not. No, he has a very good view. <laughs> the little boy doesn't have much experience. So how did he do in this movie where he has to carry the film? Well, he actually he was enjoying the movie. He was he was loving what he was doing, so it was not difficult for her for him. The little boy wants more than anything to have a family, and that's where you come into the picture. Yeah, um, she brings the light for, for his life, you know, he's like, he's, he wants her to be his mother. Uh, I didn't ask you this, but I, uh, give, give me the full answer to okay. this one now. Okay. Um, you're going to, uh, you have made yet another film, you, the director and the little boy. What is that film about? Well, uh, the name of this film, this new film, is A World Less Worst. It's a, it's a, very, it's a drama film. It's about, um, it's about two, a mother and his daughter, who is me, and they are going away looking for his father, for her father that she didn't know, and uh, his father was in the 70s in the military repressive government and they put him on da in jail because they were a repressive government and when he go out he gone crazy and he disappeared and these two girls these two women are looking for him kind of thing Are there, are your parents in the acting business? Not at all, no. <laughs> uh, oh, let's see, what else did I ask? Um, Romance? Pardon? Romance. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you will have made three films with this director. Are you and the director having a little romance? <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> I'm alone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that'll be fine. That's good. <laughs>